Good guys, welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog item toy review. As you all know, I'm Lil Tomo, and here we have uh, three Sonic the Hedgehogs. I wonder why. I guess it's because I'm a little late with the updating with one of my reviews. I had a lot of things going on during the weekend, so I couldn't really update during that time. However, I will make it up to you guys and review three separate items. Well, kind of three separate items. They're pretty much similar, but they're kind of not. Anyway, we'll put these three Sonics uh, there inside my motorbike helmet. Anyway, so we'll put these guys aside for now. We'll get to the actual item and more or less what we're going to be talking about. As I mentioned, there's going to be three actual reviews in one, which are pretty much the same. They're the Sega Sonic the Hedgehog LCD games. Here's one of them. That's the Tails. This is a Sonic the Hedgehog one. And here's another Sonic the Hedgehog one. Now, they all pretty much are the same or pretty much... They're pretty much the same, really. The only major difference is the actual content inside. Now, I'll review the more or less the box in one of them, and then I'll get into each individual item. So I'll pick the one that's kind of my favorite, really. Um, here we go. This is, as, as may mention, a Sega Sonic the Hedgehog LCD little game. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty small, small box. It's got a nice little concave sort of feel to it. So, already you can tell that you have obviously the Sega Sonic logo up here. Now, as I mentioned in previous reviews, it's quite odd and quite interesting that in the past, a lot of the Sonic items that did be, I guess, were made, had the term Sega Sonic as to justify which is the company and which is the character. For those who are not too big fans of it, they'll probably think back in the day that's his name, but, you know, obviously fans are fans and they can obviously tell the difference. So as you're going to retell, the box is pretty black and white. I do actually like the actual boxing of this item, to be honest. It's uh, pretty... Uh, what's the word? It's unique in its own right. As we all know, like all boxes, you have a good old Tails Mario Prague giving us the good thumbs up. Pretty pretty cute character there, and you have good old Sonic. I find this Sonic a little uh, slinky, if that's a word. His legs are extremely, extremely, I guess, thin. I don't know, it just doesn't give me the vibe. Maybe, I don't know, it just doesn't give me the vibe. Now, at the top, you already have the title, the Sega the Hedgehog, or Sega Sonic the Hedgehog LCD. It's got some other Japanese words up here, and obvious various Japanese words. Not too sure what it is. At the very bottom, you got War. I'll see if I can get that. Yep, 1991, copyrighted 1991 and 1992. Most likely, these items actually came during the 1992 period when Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out, which obviously had Tails My Prowl. On the actual box, you also have little catchphrases like no speed limit and no speed limit. Like, whoa, this is mega fast. So, I'm going to show you all the contents of one box as well as various things, so we'll go through this as uh, as best we can. At the very top, we also have just have the title, standard black and white. Now, at the bottom, just standard, on the side, obviously, Exactly the same, Sega Sonic, and right, let's move it aside. Another one, and um, at the back is probably something quite interesting. Really, it more it more or less outlines the how the game mechanics work, the score system. I'm, I'm guessing you have to dodge things. I'm not entirely sure. All three work on the, yeah. All three. I'll uh, just check them. All three games are exactly the same. The only th major difference is the chassis themselves. They have a whole bunch of Japanese words and instructions that I'm not quite aware of, so sorry guys if I can't decipher that. Um, you also got obviously here how to add batteries, how to remove the stick and whatnot. Pretty much they're exactly the same in every single way. I'll just show you briefly. That's that. Top, bottom, side, top. Exactly the same game here. Obviously the difference here. And exactly the same for the other one. I was at one stage thinking to review them individually, but I think that's kind of more or less cheating, you guys. Since they're pretty much the same, there's really no point in really discussing you know, individual items per week. I'm sure you all want to see something new every week. Well, I like making something new every week. So once again, we're going to go through the contents. Whatever's inside here is exactly the same as all of them. I will open them up individually and show you the actual um, item itself. As I mentioned, here's the little chassis itself. It's quite an interesting, uh, I, I wouldn't say build, but... Now, to be directly honest, there's absolutely nothing inside. There's no instruction sheets. Mind you, all three are brand new. They come uh, 
with everything inside and um, yeah no real instruction sheet not really too surprising to be honest but in a way it's kind of good in a way it's kind of bad um, but yeah it's quite interesting also the other thing that's interesting here is it's got another date here uh, Sega 1998 I'm guessing that's when it was actually released to be directly honest with you but obviously I can't confirm that to be 100% put that aside and we have the actual um, boxing itself it just holds the actual item itself pretty nice little snazzy thing it was actually held by two sticker tapes I took the liberty to just open them up you know pretty nice you just flip it open and it's actually held in by a little plastic bit now I'm not going to bother taking this physically out now you know this is brand new when it's got a little tab here I'll see if I can get a good reflection there we go a little tab here Basically, you pour it and the batteries will start um, obviously charging this. At the back, you got obviously the speaker sounds and whatnot. So, this is the actual item. As you can, oh, I'll see if I can get a good view here. Uh, not really. It's pretty transparent. I'm going to this side. Uh, kind of. Well, it's kind of semi transparent. You can actually see the circuit board. Now, as I mentioned, I'll get in this nice. It is a little nice feature. So, I'll see if I can get the actual wording for that. Maybe not. Okay, <laughs> well, it pretty much says what's on the box, which says no speed limit and no speed limit. Exactly the same. Now, you do have buttons, which is off to the left and which is right or right or left. I don't know which is the two buttons. And I'm guessing these buttons are the actual select buttons themselves. Now, I'm not going to remove the actual battery so you guys can unfortunately see. I do like it as brand new as possible, to be directly honest. But it's, it's, a, it's a nice item to do you. Now if you look very closely you can see it's the actual Green Hill Zone backdrop so which is a pretty nice I guess taste to the overall thing. This one as I mentioned is my favourite. I don't know just not that I'm emo or anything it's just black. A cool colour. It's kind of a, a metaphor for life kind of thing. So that's that one. I'll put this one aside for now and uh, we'll get to my other one. This is probably my least favourite one to be honest with you just because it's just of a color to be directly honest with you now it's not to say that it's bad it's just not my favorite to be honest exactly the same nothing major difference obviously the only major difference is the actual item themselves put this aside and you already have it once again a little tab indicating that it's brand spanking new and it's held by the plastic I'm not gonna bother removing it there's no real point now this one isn't transparent as you can probably tell it is predominantly blue it actually is more reflective to the Sonic the Hedgehog actual, I guess, character than anything else. But personally, it's not my favorite. It just doesn't grab the vibe. It just doesn't, I don't know. It's like, you tell me. I don't know, but I, I'm not too much of an artist, but I'm pretty sure I can tell the difference between obviously what's what and what's what. So you have Sonic the Hedgehog and you have Tower of My Pro. It looks quite odd. Exactly the same buttons. This time, the actual buttons themselves are black over here and exactly same green zone the only major difference here is it doesn't have really have a obviously besides the car it doesn't actually have an indicator saying no speed limit so it's all right like i said it's not my most favorite but it's there right now uh, if you look closely all of them have like kind of a like, transparent i guess game appeal to it like you can actually imagine what the actual game is so I'll put this aside this is probably have to be my most second favorite one of these mini series exactly the same no major difference box open it up put this there and once again you know it's brand new if it's got a little tab nothing too special there right it's always you know always the same there now I put it aside this is probably one of my most I wouldn't say favorite but it's one of the coolest ones this one is a more you can offset I'm pretty sure you can there we go like the black one this is also transparent you can see the circuitry the circuitry the circuits there nice little gimmick there like the first one I showed you, it's got a little sign that's, that says no speed limit, Mile Towers Pro at the very top. Not too sure why the arrow is pointing there. I guess if you're playing, it's basically indicating somebody else is going faster than usual. Not entirely sure. Once again, like the blue one, the buttons correspond to that. As you can probably tell, I'll see if I can... Same buttons, same chassis. Pretty nice how they kind of added bits and pieces from each one to join the other one. Uh, I don't know if it's to save cost or anything, but it's there, right? So there's the actual buttons. Press the buttons. Uh, exactly the same. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to actually do it. It is brand new, and I don't want to oxidate the batteries or anything. But that's that. Now, 
these come in a trifecta set. Uh, what about what I mean about that is they're basically in a series. Um, there are three, as you can probably tell, and they all basically have the I would say pros and cons. In that, you know, depending on which one you like, you you want. Now, I'll just put this aside. So obviously, there's that one. Now the the rarity on these do vary from off the device to device. Ironically enough, or interesting enough to be honest, the most rarest one isn't the actual Sonic the Hedgehog one at all. It's actually the Tails Mile Power, which is I quite find, I quite well I find that quite interesting to be honest. But in the same way, I kind of find it like okay, it does make sense. Now, obviously, fans have their likes and dislikes. Who doesn't, right? Um, obviously people like Tails, some people like Shadows, some people like, you know, Amy Rose, some people like Big the Cat. It obviously differs from one to another. Now, as I've got to put that gently in, there we go. Now, this was more or less released in, if I'm not mistaken, in one of these, uh, obviously it's from Japan because a European market would, unfortunately, would not unfortunately call this Sega Sonic. Um, I've noticed the actual trend in Japan more more so than anything else. As to why, honestly, it's beyond me. All I know, it's it's a thing they do there, I suppose. I'm not too sure if that's familiarized or if that's kind of a linkage to um, any other, I guess, gaming thing over there, but I'm going to assume it is, maybe. I don't know. To each the own, right? So, enough about that. Now, in terms of rarity, um, they do... Oh, be careful there. They do... You know what? Uh, I'll get it like this. They do vary, of course. Um, this one would probably be, I guess, the least rare. I do see this more often. This would probably set you back maybe, or send me back roughly about thirty dollars, which is all right. Nothing too expensive. This is probably the second most rarest, um, which is pretty decent. This sent me back about forty-five dollars, which is a little more pricey than the first one, but it's pretty good. Now, this is the one that sent me back quite a bit. This cost me about sixty dollars. Now. When I found it, mind you, these are all mint condition, right? They obviously open just a box with obviously definite care, so everything else is pretty much you know awesome. But yeah, sixty dollars for one of them, it's it's <laughs> you can imagine, right? That's that's probably the cost of our um, what you move. That's probably the cost of one of the American games, if I'm not mistaken. Here in Australia, it's a little more pricey, but American games cost thereabouts, I suppose. Now, overall, as a set, I've never seen any set, so you are probably going to increase the uh, rarity rate up there obviously if you collected one if you collected one and you're missing one rarity goes up and down so since i can't give you a set rarity rate on these i'm going to have to give you a rough rarity rate between four stars out of ten all the way between maybe six and a half stars so four to six and a half stars rarity depending obviously which ones you have which ones you don't the conditions and whatnot overall these three are awesome in my personal books they're a nice piece of collection, you can have them on stand. Even if you want to take them out of the box and just connect it to your, I don't know, bag or keychain or whatever. And uh, that goes my phone. So give me a moment there. So basically, uh, overall, it's, it's it's a pretty nice catch. The, you know, obviously the rarity is what there and what not. So guys, once again, uh, uh, this is why I don't review three items at a time. I always want to end the video with basically viewing all the items. You know what? There we go. Happy? Uh huh. Sweet. So <laughs> overall, it's a uh, it's it's a it's a nice catch and whatnot. Um, class. So anyway, guys, catch you later. Take care.